guys, welcome back to Kirsten Express. Today we're doing not a review for once, we're doing a Hormy vs. Batman video. So this is a new series and we hope you enjoy it. So let's get started on to the video I guess. So in this um whatever you want to call it, challenge or series, whatever you want to call it, it will be a test of three things. Speed, appearance, and strength. So, first of all, let's have a look at appearance. So, here is Backman Thomas. Now, if you see it compared to the Hornby one, it's a lot smaller, which in this case is actually better because Thomas isn't as long as, say, Henry or James or anything like that. So, in this case, it's more proportionally like accurate but you've only seen the side what is that that is a clown face and also there is no front coupling which I, I think only Thomas, James and Percy suffers from in the Batman range, thank God. But, as as you can see, as is a little, like, scratched off. And that, like, it's got a broken buffer at the front that needs to be replaced. And the dummy coupling at the front also came out. And it's just a bit scratched off. And we had to recently send it off for a repair because the one of the wires inside had snapped. So, yeah. If you're looking for a Thomas for your kids that maybe don't really care as much of how it looks like, I don't think this one is the one to go. If you're looking for one that's more some serious Acrea, then this one is the one you want. Anyway, what do you think of them? Uh, I'll say about... Uh Nine, nine, nine point five. The only thing stopping him is no front coupling. Yeah. Anyways, on to the Hornby one. So this is Hornby Thomas. He is a lot longer, as you will probably guess, because Thomas is his own body, like the Batman Thomas is on his own body from Batman. It was created just for this. Then this is based off of the Hornby E2, which is going to get shown right here. Uh, so it's a lot longer than any other Thomas. It runs great, though. Its number one is a hell of a lot bigger. The dome and stuff look the exact same from them, as you can see. You can see the size difference too. And on the Hornby one, it's got the open bit right there. And as you can see in the back one, it's just like black. And it, and we'll show you in a bit the inside detail of it. But yeah, that's all I've got to say about it. Same as any Hornwell Thomas. What do you think about it? Me personally, I think... If you're looking for a Thomas for your kids, as you can see, this one isn't as scratched off or as, I think the only damage on it is the eyebrow at the front, the right eyebrow has just got a slit in it. But other than that, if you're looking for a Thomas that's more durable for your kids or something like that, or for people who like to manhandle them a bit, like more roughly then this is the thomas you're looking for but if you're looking for accuracy and like series accurate this one is the one to go for the backman one also just a quick um talk about how much they cost this one came in the set with the batman europe set which was 130 i think it was off of Tootley Thomas 
and I th the engine on its own is about 70. And the Hornby Thomas is discontinued, as all the Hornby ones will be in our, in this series. But it's, I think on eBay it goes between 50 to 100. And we also got this one in a set for Christmas. Go and watch the reviews. Yeah, go watch the review on the Batman Annie Clarabel set. And the Hornby Thomas Annie Clarabel set. Anyways, let's get on to the test of speed. So here's Hornby Thomas. So he'll be going around a six by four loop. So on your marks, get set, go. He did that in 8.71 seconds. Now let's get on to Batman Thomas. So here's Batman Thomas. So on your marks, get set, go. So Thomas did that in 8.77 seconds, which is just a little bit slower than um, Hornby Thomas. So, on to the test of strength. So in the strength test, we're measuring coaches, and Hornby Thomas pulled nine coaches with no, no struggle, and Batman Thomas pulled four coaches. So, the strongest one in the strength is actually Hornby Thomas. And not by a little bit, by a lot, by five coaches. Anyway, let's get on to what we think about them. So, who do we prefer? As you've seen, appearance-wise, Thomas gets a, Batman Thomas gets a point. Speed-wise, Hornby Thomas gets a point. Strength-wise... Hornby Thomas gets the point. So the winner today is Hornby Thomas. So, which ones do you prefer? Do you prefer Hornby Thomas or Batman Thomas? Let us know in the comments below and who you would like to see in the next Hornby vs Batman. Bye!